welcome back to Lime Law Doors. Today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY power box. It's great for fishing, hunting, camping, anything. Leaving in your car for emergencies. It's got lights on the front. You can use it as a flashlight. It's got banana clips for hooking up LED lights in your portable fish house. Got a USB hub and a voltmeter installed on there. Switches to control it all. I'll leave all the parts to build this in the description. Enjoy the video. So, to start out, I got this ammo crate from Runnings here. It was like $7. It's plastic, it's waterproof. My other battery box is made out of this, and I haven't had any issues with it, so I'm going to buy another one and do the same thing. So, what I'm going to include in this build is a USB hub, and it also has a voltmeter shows up on here it shows how charged your battery is that you're gonna use uh, I got four switches for what I'm gonna be using it for I'm gonna have one switch for the voltmeter USB hub I'm gonna have one switch for these lights I'm gonna have one switch for the banana jack I'm going to include in this build for running LED lights in my portable fish house and I'm going to also add one switch for black lights that I'm going to add around the edge of this. But I don't have those currently, I'm just going to add it for future. And it's all going to be ran by this 12 volt battery, fish finder battery, whatever you want to call it. Um, some tools you're going to need, obviously these speed connectors for hooking up the switch and the battery. Um, tape measure for measuring if you want to be OCD about it like I am. An assortment of drill bits, a drill of course, make it easier. A fuse, you don't have to add one but it's safer. I got three different types of, three different colors of wire just because I like to have my stuff neat and see what's wrong with it if something comes unplugged. We get a couple butt connectors, a wire cutter, strippers, wire crimper, something to cut the wire, side cutter works pretty good. And depending on what size switches you get and what size USB hub you get will depend on what size drill bit you need. So the switches are a 13 16 in my case. Um, the USB hub is a 1 and 1 8. I haven't actually looked at what these lights are but I'll figure it out when I get to it. And then the banana jack is a 3 8 I believe. I'll leave all this stuff in the description so you can make your own. It's pretty fun to build, pretty easy. So I'm going to start out by drilling all the holes. I'm going to put my USB hub right here. I'm going to put my four switches on the front here. And then my banana jacks is going to go right here. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put two, maybe four LED lights here. So I'll see you guys when I get that done. I also forgot to mention you might need a Stanley knife for trimming up some of the edges.
Well, as you can tell, the drill bit got a little carried away on two of these. I'm probably going to rebuild it in another box. I'll save that for another day. I just pushed the switches inside the holes. Got the voltmeter installed, USB hub, and now I'm going to put the banana jacks in here. Well, as you can tell, it takes quite a bit of fiddling, but I got everything installed, just got to wire it up. I know that one's crooked, but I don't really care. This thing is going to be plenty bright when it's done. So now comes the wiring. I'll leave a little diagram up right now show you what the wiring is going to look like for the most part. But basically, instead of running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ground wires from this, we're just going to jump them save a lot of wire, make it a lot more neat. So let's get started with the grounds. So we're going to jump this ground to this ground, first of all. Just measure roughly what you need. Sure you're putting it on the negative terminal. Now you're going to be running this to this negative terminal 
but you also have to run another wire to this one, so you got to splice two of them together. together. Connect them good. Normally this gold connector is the negative. You'll have to see what switches you order. And so on. Now I'm going to jump this to this to this to this to the negative on the banana jack, and then to all four negatives on these, and then I'll run the last negative to the battery. There'll be one wire run into the battery for the negative terminal. So I'll see you guys when I got that done. So as you can see, I got all the negatives ran. So I have negative ran from the negative terminal on the battery. And I spliced all the negatives from each four of the lights into one. So a negative goes to those lights, and then it jumps from the lights to this switch, to the negative terminal on the banana jack, to this switch, to this switch, to this switch, and then to the USB hub. Now we're going to do the, basically the same exact thing with the positive, except we're not going to hook up any of the auxiliary items, including the lights banana jack or the USB hub. We're just running power from the power to the switches. So all we gotta do is run a power cable from the positive terminal on the battery to this switch and then you make little jumpers to the rest like we did here. I'll see you when I got that done. I also forgot to mention that we are putting a fuse in so I'm gonna run the power from the fuse here. I'll tuck that in there and then I'm going to splice the rest of the positive cable and go from there to the switches. You don't need a fuse but it's safe if you don't want your whole system to short out. I'm not sure, I think this is a 30 amp fuse I'm putting in here and until I put the fuse in there will be no power so I don't have to worry about anything shorting out right now with it plugged in. So let me get wire in. So now what I got is the positive connector on the positive terminal running to the fuse, which runs to this switch, jumps to the rest of the switches. And that's all you gotta do for the positives. So now the end connector is considered the auxiliary port, some people call it. So say we want this switch to control the USB hub. We run a cable from this to there. Say we want this switch to control the banana jack, we run, a, we run a cable from this connector to the positive on this. And then we want this switch to run the lights, we run this to the positive on the lights. And then I'll leave this switch empty because I'm going to add something there in the future, but that's all there is to it. I'll wire it up and show you guys when I'm finished. Well, I went and bought another box and rebuilt it in a new box since some of the switches were kind of screwed up. This is the finished product. You got the voltmeter, USB hub on this switch. It tells you how charged your battery is. That's pretty good. This yellow one is my lights. It's plenty bright for what I need it for. And this green switch here is to control these. This blue one I'm going to add a black light strip around the edge eventually for my fish house, but it's all it takes is a little bit of work and you got yourself a DIY battery box. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.